Hey guys, John here from Ecomex SEO. Can you use frequently asked question structured data and snippets on Shopify collection pages and get results? Now just quickly, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also head on over to our Facebook group uh, where there's plenty of great content and discussion going on in there. So just wanted to work through uh, a bit of a test we've been doing um, on one of our product pages uh, in our shop, one of our Shopify stores. Um, and this particular term, so I'm just gonna go through uh, the context of it. So what I wanted to test was, um, can we have frequent FAQ snippets or structured data on the, the collection page? Um, if, will we get results? Will it cause any problems? Uh, will it actually show up in the SERPs, etc.? cetera? Um, Shopify is a little different as you know, so sometimes we just need to, to test a few things. So here's the term here, uh, Bone Broth Protein Powder Australia, uh, search volume of 90 for this particular term, and then there's the associated terms with it. Um, so there's quite a lot of uh, search volume there in Australia. Uh, so the main terms we've been tracking is this one here, and then also Bone Broth Protein Australia. So um, 80 searches per month for that. So you can see here's, here's the, the traffic graph. So in December 2019, we were nowhere, then it popped up and it's been tracking along, you know, nine, then it moved to four in um, April, and then May, June, July, it's moved up to position two. And then if we look at bone broth protein powder, uh, has a, a bit of a similar graph. It's at about the same time, it's moved up and now it's in position nine for this particular term. Uh, then if we go on over and have a look at our uh, Google search results, so Bone Broth Protein Australia, if we scroll on down and we are number, in real terms it says we're number three here. So first of all we can see that our FAQ snippets actually do uh, serve the result in, the, in Google, so we open it up and we've got FAQ here. So this has obviously been, it's been on here about four months now, so, and what's happened, you can see that it's just looking at these graphs, it's just continued to creep up. Now, if you also look, we've got no backlinks running to this, we're, we're not doing anything else with this particular uh, collection page, just letting it sit uh, with that content and with the FAQ and see what happens to it. Um, the only thing I would say is the site has gained a little bit of, of, of uh, relevance and power, you know, over the last four months site-wide, um, so that could be one of the reasons it's just continued to increase. Uh, but uh, if we look here, I think uh, there's a good chance that having the FAQ snippets on the page has helped as well. Um, so interestingly though, so there's only two, for this particular search where I am in Australia, there's only two FAQs that actually show up as um, featured or rich snippets. But if we go and look at the actual structured data um, and we look at our da FAQ in the structured data, we can you can see we have more than one question. So we've got uh, one, two, three, for five questions and answers, uh, but there's only one that's actually, uh, sorry, two that is actually showing up in this page. We then go and have a look at the actual page itself. So you can see here are our questions, and I think these QAs, I'll just have a look and see if they are actually what hashtag we added there. Go to the source code. From memory, I think they were all H2. Um, product is H2. Keep scrolling down. Maybe they were H3. Not H3, were they H4? Okay, so I found the questions in the source code. So we actually didn't even add a, any H tags, which is um, probably an oversight, but you can still see that it's helped us um, gain that rich snippet and rank. So what we might do now is actually go and add H tags for these and, and monitor this over a few weeks and see if we have any change. Maybe we can push it to page, uh, to position one just by doing that. Um, so these actual headings here, um, they're not actually in H tags. So just by adding the, the structured data, we've been able to gain that. So Interesting. Now, obviously, one of the benefits of having this um, structured data in here, it, it, it adds a, these obviously drop down sections and it's a point of difference between all the other search results on the page. So, 
um, there's a potential to gain greater click-through rate. We actually haven't been tracking that. We just wanted to see whether we had an increase in rankings or not. Uh, the other thing, it does what does happen though, if you have your star ratings for your product data um, and your reviews, um, they won't show uh, if you've got the structured data. So are star ratings better for a click-through rate or uh, because this is quite a bit different, is this better? Um, one thing I would say, we have noticed that sometimes when you add your FAQ snippets, that because it answers people's questions right here, the actual click-through rate may actually decrease. So that's just something to consider if you do this. Um, but the, in, in terms of performance uh, in the search results, it seems to be working pretty well. So we'll change those hashtags now and we'll see if we get any... Um, any change in result over the next few weeks and I'll probably do another video on that um, as we're moving forward. Okay, thanks. We'll see you in the next video.